Communications Network, MC Ministries from Los Angeles, California, and I'm Brian Hewitt of Anita and the Man, and Anita is doing much better, and we thank you for your prayers and support. That's my beautiful wife. As we share the living word of God throughout the entire world, continuing with our Mark series this morning, and we're a bit late to due to some technical issues, but God is on time, and we just love coming here and being with you, sharing the goodness of the Lord. Brethren, we're going to be going into Mark chapter 11 today. Mark chapter 11. We ask you just to put your finger there, get a clean sheet of notebook paper, and let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time. The endless realm of your love that brings us to your road of grace, that brings us to your straight and narrow. When many are called, a few are chosen. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your embrace from the blood of Calvary to the resurrection. We thank you for this new day, the aim hours here in North America, as you give us the strength to lift up our prayers, and we pray forgiveness, and as, as you just encourage us to go stronger, lift up our strength, and we want to know every, every day, as you pour down your wisdom and discernment every day. We give you thanks and praise for all in all, in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what a beautiful day this is. Excuse me. On a long day already. Together, we move with the cleansing of God. Together with a large crowd coming to observe the Passover week, his disciples arrived in Jerusalem. With the first day of the visit, beginning with a triumphal entry and ending with a quick visit to the temple. Mark chapter 1 through 11. But on the next day, two things which do occur. We see amounts of character for Jesus. The cursing of the fig tree, the cleansing of the temple. For the next day, as we express, when they had come out from Bethany, he was hungry, and he seen them from afar a fig tree having leaves. He went to it, he went to see if perhaps he could find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, but it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said, Let no one eat fruit from, from you ever again. And his, and his disciples heard it. We come. And then the other one was the cleansing of the temple. So they came to, to Jerusalem in Mark 11, 15. And Jesus went to the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold in the temple. And overturned the t tables of money changed and seats of those who sold was sold, was sold in droves, and he would not allow anyone to carry waves through the temple. Then he taught, then he taught, saying to them, "It is not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you have made it into a den of, th den of thieves." And the pri scribes and the chief priests heard of it and saw how they might destroy him, for they feared him because of all the people were astonished at his teaching. When everyone, when even evening, evening had come, he went out of the city. Having spent the night in Bethany, Jesus and his disciples make way towards Jerusalem. Jesus sees the fig tree from the distance and approaches to see if there is anything, anything on it. There is nothing but the leaves. As, as Mark. Is noting that it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus uh, says, Let no one eat of this fig tree again. But the fig trees produce crops with small, edible buds. But the way Mark organizes his material, his scriptures in these verses, suggests a connection between the cleansing in the temple and the cursing of the fig tree. The incident of the fig tree both interprets the cleansing of the temple and, the, and is interpreted by the, later, by the later incident. Jesus' disappointment with the victories like his disappointment with Israel and the temple, her chief shrine, his judgment pronounced upon the fig tree is like the threat of God's judgment upon all, soon to fall upon the city of Jerusalem, which Jesus' words and actions among Mark 11, 15, 19, at the, at the temple to prefigure the cursing of the tree is known as 
the prophetic sign act. Familiar to readers of the Old Testament, an action in which a prophet demonstrates symbolically his message. In Jeremiah, Jeremiah 13, let's go through 1 through 3. And the Lord said to me, Go and get yourself a linen sash and put it around your waist. Do not, but do not put it, it in water. So I get a sash according to to the word of God and put it around my waist. And this word of the Lord came to me the second time. He said, Take, take the sash that you required, which is not around your waist, and arise go to the Euphrates, which hide it there in a hole in the rock. So I went and hid it by the Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. We must drive out all the negatives in our lives. We must go into this facet of expressing our lives to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. Jesus is is beyond this prophetic sign act. He, he is the prophet. He is the one that we learn from. He is the one that we, we, we sing from. We sing unto this time, brothers and sisters. We sing unto this expression that God is bringing to us in today's world. God is assigning us His love and truth. The truth is setting us all free. So, what's confusion? The cleansing of the temple may have may have has fulfilled prophecy. Malachi chapter three one through three. Behold I send my messenger. Behold I send my messenger. And you will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight. Behold he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But he who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears for he is like a refiner, refiner's fire, like a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi. He will purge them as gold and silver, that others may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. <coughs> the offering of righteousness. The offering of the truth. Are you allowing the truth to set you free? Are you and the opposite end of Jesus being cursed and cleansed of the temple, being thrown out of the temple because your intentions are are not maybe gestures but you're not showing any hunger or prayer, not showing anything what God is all about we need brothers and sisters <coughs> to put a better understanding in today's world we need to put a better understanding into this judgment that is coming. We seem to to not want to understand. To not want to understand anything that God has done for us. We but we take the talents of ourselves, we take the talents in our own lives. We we have pathetic world leaders today just destroying their own countries. Some of them through hedge funds, some of them through military warfare. And with the UN, I, if I saw this correctly yesterday, the UN being, mission is slowly being pulled out of Syria, then becomes from a street fight disagreement to all out, all out civil war, civil war. And who gets hurt? The people. But the Prime Minister goes into exile, goes to Russia takes his millions, needs time, he's getting time. But God will shut him down. God can shut you down. But we need to bring into this aspiration of God's truth, God's love, the time of where we are now, the time of the expression of truth. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 9, And on the reflection he was, effect, he, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. And his love and his glory, he redeemed them. He bore them and carried them all the, all the days of old. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 9. We sing, brothers and sisters, that song. We sing 
by the cleansing of the Lord to wash away all filth from our lives. All filth that has covered us, that has tried to destroy us. All filth of our past being fooled by those ministers and prophets, evangelists. <clears throat> all filth that is to bring us to His foundation, His foundation of truth. With this, we sing beyond the character that God gives us. We sing as an act of cleansing of our own temple. We sing by saying, No to sin and saying, Saint Jesus, Satan, get thee behind me. Or just Jesus Christ. Jesus. We have to be strong in faith. If we are weak in faith, well, it's a sign of disobedience. And God told us to be strong in faith. I mean, it's a sign of disobedience. So we must be strong in faith. We are to walk by faith and not by sight. From In this time, brothers and sisters, in this temple, in this love, in this truth, we have all the qualities, all the moments of our truth, how the truth is bringing us to this new expression of God's love. So from fairest creatures we desire increase that thereby beauty's rose might never die, but as the riper should by time increase his tender air might bear his memory. But thou contracted to thine own bright eyes, feed us satellites flame with self substantial fuel. Make any famine where abundance lies, thyself thy foe to thine own sweet self, all too cruel, making thy truth into the bottomless way of your life. We sing this in the aspirations of God's love, God's truth. <clears throat> we sing this not to be melancholy. We sing this to bring change around our lives to those around us, to ourselves, to our loved ones. Yet it's too easy. It's too easy, and that's why we don't do it. We have to complicate our own mess before we take a nosedive. We have to lose someone. We have to get in car accident. We almost have to kill ourselves before we say, oh yes, I saw the light. I saw my life. I saw my life flash before me. Oh no. We need to make this change now. Every one of us may be coming into a change of heart. Every one of us may be coming into this time tonight. As we expressed in our time, we expressed in our love, brothers and sisters, forgive me we're sharing of the truth we're sharing of his love we're sharing of this moment right now dear Lord give us the strength to go forward give us the strength to endure give us the strength to be upon us of this name to give us the strength of the substance of truth of, of, of being rebuked being cleansed to help us with this new day to give us the aspirations of the truth how the truth that set us all free. So how does this all begin? Romans 10, 13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever is you, call upon the name of the Lord now. If you are not saved, or well, you wish to be recommitted, have your life recommitted with God, this is your time. This is your, your opportunity right now. Dear God, Repeat this after me, dear God. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. And I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died on my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin except for Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and to take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me forward. Thank you, Father, for loving me. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God. The angels of heaven are standing before the throne of God, praising your name before God. 
as we lift up our prayers, God knows that we are praying. For what comes before his face like incense before his face. We sing the truth of the Lord. We sing the aspirations of this moment. Brothers and sisters, we pick up the news, uh, headlines, Facebook, Twitter news, Yahoo news. We see the world changing us. We pick up the newspapers and we see that the news we heard about last night is actually now the old news. How, what, how can we change this? What can we do? Be, blessed are the peacemakers, for, the, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the change makers. And who are these peacemakers, these change makers? That's you. I need to myself and other ministries, we cannot do this alone. We need your prayers and support. We need you to be part of our evangelical team, our translation team, our medical teams. As you go into these countries, as you bring these broadcasts to the unchurch, whether you're in a convalescent home or living in the gypsy nations of Pakistan, Afghanistan, India, we need your help to go to these people, to preach to these people, to heal these people with the, with the word of God. With this time, brothers and sisters, as you plant your financial seed into this ministry, it's not like you have to wait for your return on investment some months from now or years from now. Your harvest is now. If, if you are in the living word of God, you're lifting up your also your offering of obedience, backing up your works with faith. Your harvest is now. So as you plant your financial seed into this ministry, the windows of heaven will open up before you, that you have no room in your storehouses to save them, plant them, keep them. You'll be financially blessed as you bless our ministry in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, we need to take everything by the horn. We need to take everything as change makers. We need to bring everything into the absolute truth of this love, of this truth, the truth to set us all free. Are we ready? Are we ready to change? Bring God into your life now. Bring God into the absolute. Romans chapter 2, 4, 4 through 6. Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? But in accordance with the hardness of your impertinent heart, you are treasuring up for yourselves wrath in the day of wrath, and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to each one according to his deeds. So, each one according to his deeds. So, did that awaken you? Did that bring any substance of truth? First Peter chapter 2, verse 23. Who when he was revealed, did not reveal in return. When he had suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously. Who judges righteously. We sing this song brothers and sisters, we sing this song of all God's love, God's truth, God's way. On this expression of the story of the fig tree and the cleansing of the temple were prophetic sign acts that were foretold that impending judgment upon the nation of Israel that would occur with the destruction of the temple fulfilled in 70 A.D. Mark chapter 13, 1 and 2. Then as he went out to the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Teacher, see what manner of stones and, 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 build, and what buildings are here. And Jesus answered and said to him, Do you see these great buildings? Now one stone shall be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. Amen. The prophetic sign acts do do come, do bring, and are bringing in your faith with the strength, your, your, your forgiveness as we lift this up, your time at hand. We sing, O oh brothers and sisters, that grace is, is responding to the gospel of the grace of God 
Grace comes through the responding of the grace of, in the, the gospel of the grace of God. What are we What are we waiting for? And the world becomes becomes captured within itself, captured for the moment, captured beyond belief, captured for this time. Brothers and sisters, we need to bring more of this to a conclusion. We need to be in the strength. I'm going to ask you that as we end this service a bit early, to stay in like 10, 15 minutes alone with prayer. Get ready for your day here in North America. It's still early. It's going on uh, 7 a.m. here in Los Angeles, 10 a.m. In, in the East Coast. Let's go. Be strong in the Lord. Let's go. Be str showing your strength. Let's now go before the throne of God and pray. Oh, dear Jesus, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your strength. We thank you, thank you for the inheritance of your truth, for the truth does make us all the freedom of your love. We thank you for lifting up our prayers for you as you as we lift up our forgiveness. We, th we uh, cry unto you that we want to know ever, every day stronger than we knew you yesterday as you pour down your wisdom and just swim it upon us. As you pour down your new mercies upon us as we give up our, we lift up our forgiveness and our prayers to you. Dear Jesus, give us the strength of the rebuking as you did with the fig tree as, as, the, as the cleansing of our lives as you cleanse the temple. Forgive us of our sins and we forgive those around us. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for the stewardship. We thank you for the love and support. In Jesus' name. For the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that does conclude our broadcast for this morning. On behalf of Anita Hewitt, my wife, and myself, the man Brian Hewitt, we thank you for your time until next time. Do stay up to date with all of our news and exciting events of our up and coming crusades to your part of the world at BrianChewitt.com. BrianChewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people.